Yo, what's up guys and welcome to the Shinobi Challenge Pack. My name is Mr. Freeze 2244 but before we get into the video, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. But for this one, we're going to start in the office. I'm assuming that everyone's going to be level 5 by now at least. Uh, we're going to bring along the briefcase. I'm going to bring along the breaching charge for the explosion kill, but you don't need to... Um, you don't need the breaching charge if you don't have it. Bring along any explosive and uh, we're going to get straight into it. So from the very start here, we're going to spawn right here and then we're going to take out the breaching charge out of the briefcase and we're going to drop the briefcase just here. That is important. We're just going to leave that right there. Next, we're going to get into the panic room and we're going to retrieve uh, a few things off this wall. We're going to get all the shurikens and uh, you're going to need that sword as well. You don't need anything else, but um, you can grab whatever you want, really. It doesn't really matter. We're not using any of this other stuff anyway. And then I'm not even sure why I grabbed it all. Anyway, never mind. Uh, we're going to grab the USB stick there, the lockpick, and we're going to take out the evidence. And once we've done that, we're going to use the laptop. And from this point, uh, we're going to skip the cutscene there, and then we're going to save it right at this point. This is a quite an important spot to save it, really. Because some of the challenges actually uh, clash with each other, so we can't, we can't be doing all the challenges in one run, unfortunately. So as we've saved it there, we're going to lockpick this door. And we're going to head down the stairs. Being mindful of those cars, of course. But we're actually going to take out Orson with the aquarium. Now, one of the challenges that are required is... Uh, to break the aquarium and knock someone out with it uh, but his body's gonna get found so that's gonna negate one of our challenges a little bit right later on so that's why we're gonna uh, reload the save once we've done this challenge the challenges aren't gonna pop up on the screen for me because I've already completed them through practice so I'm just gonna throw a coin right there when Orson is near the counter And what, what I mean by the counter, I'm on about the, uh, the the side table. The thing he's leaning like on. Basically, you want to get him as close to this door before throwing the coin to distract him. Then you want to go ahead and just shoot the glass. I think one bullet's enough. That'll knock him out, and uh, you should get the challenge pop up in the top right corner of your screen for you. But at this point, I realised why why didn't it pop up? But it's because I've, of course, I've already done it. So uh, from this point, what you want to do is just go ahead and reload the save, and we can get on with the rest of the challenges because uh, there's a confirmation I've already done those. So the other ones are to take out the target with the sword. Nobody's found. The other one to explode the target and not knock anyone out during that explosion. And the other one is to kill 10 more people with the shurikens or the sword itself. So we're just going to reload that save back to uh, the spot we went through before after the laptop cutscene. And what we're actually going to do this time, we're actually going to wait for this conversation to play out. Uh, then Anya is going to want uh, to uh, drop Alma. Sorry, he's going to drop the uh, coins, not the coins, the keys on the table. She's going to turn around, and that's when we're going to try and get her attention. If you recall from a recent Sant Assassin suit only video for Master Mode, it's a very good way of getting her upstairs is by using the peekaboo technique. And to do that, what you got to do as soon as she engages in this little line here about Max, that's when you want to raise the suspicion bar as far as you can and then break the line of sight before she gets fully suspicious and then she'll come up, uh, come up to investigate what she's seen we're going to hide in here for now and once she comes upstairs she's going to see the briefcase that we placed earlier and then she's going to walk past this little case right where hit the crate we're in right now from this point just, just before she goes past you want to go ahead and save it again just overwrite the previous save that you just did before and the reason for that is because we're going to do, take care of two kills here at once. First of all, we're going to go ahead and knock her out. And then place your explosive. Uh, ideally, the breaching charge because it's a silent explosive. But uh, anyone, anyone will do as long as you can get her in the crate as soon as possible. And that should take care of another challenge. So the next challenge, I'm going to be uh, reloading it again. And the only thing we need to take care of now is taking out the target with the katana and then taking uh, out 10 guards as well at the same time. And also we can't have any of the bodies being found otherwise it doesn't the challenge doesn't work for us. So now we want to exit the crate and pull out the sword this time. Take her out and then go ahead and hide her body into the crate. 
we're going to hide all these bodies in crates right here because uh, I did this on a previous run and I got right to the very end and the body was found literally just before I was about to exit the mission. But at least it gave me information and gave me a better route uh, to go around. So that's one of the targets. This is the second one. So we're going to just throw the shuriken at his head. So you'll have the tracker at the top right corner of your screen counting all the way up to 10 anyway. So that should say 2 out of 10. So we're going to hide his body in the, clo in the closet right there. We're going to grab the shuriken that we just used as well. I'm going to open this door and throw a coin to distract the other guard. I'm not even sure if you have to do all this in your suit. I mean, it did say take her out with the katana in your suit and nobody's found. So I don't, to be safe, I didn't want to swap any disguises to find out. So this will be three out of 10. Again, we're going to retrieve the shuriken and drag his body and hide it in the crate or the closet or whatever. In fact, we're just sticking behind this curtain. That'll do. So that'll be 3 out of 10. Uh, we're going to take out two people here. There's Orson and another guard downstairs. That'll be 5. So let's throw a coin on the top landing right here. Do it a little bit further if you want. Neither Orson or, or, or Orson will tell the guard to come upstairs. So either Orson or the guard will come up right now. And it, it doesn't matter which one you use. You can use the sword or the shuriken. It, that's the that's part of the challenges. Actually, I should have showed them at the start, really. But you know, you might you might just get people saying it's filler, so it doesn't matter. I didn't I didn't put them in for not that reason. It's because they're just forgotten. <laughs> that's all. But that's four out of ten. Uh, the final one is this guard here. I mean, I don't know whether you can just throw a shuriken right at his head, but I'm concerned about the guard downstairs by the pool. I don't really want him to accidentally see the body through the window, so I don't even know if that's going to be the case. But just to be safe, uh, I'm just going to throw a coin at the top landing here and take him out nice and safely. And we're also going to drag his body all the way into the bedroom and put his body in the crate as well. Again, we're going to make sure we hide all these bodies here because you don't really want to go through this effort like me and um, having to redo the whole thing. That's kind of... Uh, Kind of a ball ache, that's just say. Anyway, so once you've dragged him to all the bedroom and hid him in the closet, we're going to actually go outside and take out that guard out there, and then we're going to take out a couple of guards on the roof and a couple of guards outside, and that should take care of all ten of them. So that was what five. This one is going to be number six. Um, he's going to be heading this way. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll go around the other way. So I'll go around the back so we can get him behind. Need to lock pick this door. And we're going to wait for the guard to walk down the walkway. And we're going to use a sword for this one. You can actually throw the sword just in case you didn't know. Wait for him to get close to the door. Boom. So that'll be number six. I think you'll need to lock pick this door as well. Yeah, you do. So we're actually going to drag him to the bedroom as well and hide his body in the- I know it's a bit of a pain in the ass, but at the end of the day, it's going to save you a lot of time in the end, considering your bodies might not get found anyway. So it's better to be safe than sorry. I mean, uh, there's two people on the roof, we don't have to hide them because there's, there's nowhere to hide them anyway, and no one goes on the roof apart from them two guards. So uh, yeah, we're just going to take these two guards out on the roof. And everything should be uh, should be fine. And then we can take out the, the final two guards on the outside. And it'll be, that's it. Simple. Now, these two guards are really annoying. Because uh, if you throw a distraction, they both follow each other. And I don't know, I don't know why. Uh, it's like it's almost like the game really, really wants you to listen to this stupid conversation they have. And it, it's, it's frustrating. So the, you have to listen to this. So, because if you throw a coin, like I'm doing here, they both follow each other. And I don't know why it keeps happening, but tried it several times now and they both keep following each other I mean there's a lost puppy around but he's following around like a lost puppy look, look what's the why is he following him I, I really don't understand that so they're gonna come back he's gonna retrieve the coin and he's gonna go back to the conversation so once the conversation is finished they're gonna go their separate ways so just wait for that conversation to finish After an incredibly drawn out long conversation um, one of them goes to the left the other one goes to the right at the top so we're going to take them out one by one. First the guy on the left. 
I mean, we could probably pick two. You don't have to take these guards out, but I thought they were easy considering you don't have to hide their bodies. You can throw a sword at his head. You can use a shuriken if you want to. So this will be number eight. So now we only have two more, and we're actually going to take out the guy by the pool that goes in and out. And we're actually going to take him out in the pantry. Because it'll be lost save. There's a crate there too, so it's best to take him out there. So that guy will be trolling in and out where the pool is, uh, to the outside. So I'm getting confused. Here. I'm getting confused. Yeah, there's a door here. That's it. We're gonna need to obviously lock to pick the door first as well, because it's. it's uh, what I don't like about Hitman 2 is once you lock pick the door, the door automatically just opened like that. I, and for some reason, I couldn't shut the door either, so I had to get around the corner for it to wait for it to shut we're gonna wait for him to go past first before we throw a coin inside but once he does throw a coin inside the room of course and then throw a shuriken alternatively use the katana and then take him out then there's a crate right there or a freezer you can call it that and once you've taken him out you can do the same thing with the other guard it'd be nice and simple really easy uh, just make sure you hide that shotgun, uh, you might spoil what you're about to do. So we're just going to put his body in the in the freezer, grab the gun, the a coin too, and we're just going to hide the, the gun over here. Don't need that. And we're going to throw another distraction into the room. He should come in the room as well, and we're going to go ahead and take him out with the katana. This is a wee, the final target. And because we hit all of the 10 bodies in crates and closets, none of these bodies are going to get found. So all we literally need to do is just exit the mission. I don't think you have to worry about getting spotted, even though um, we, we have to exit the mission anyway. So we need to create a distraction outside anyway. So this is what I did before. I uh, didn't hide all the bodies before. And because as soon as you set off the explosion to distract them to get away from the boat, uh, Someone came inside and actually, sorry, there's a idiot outside with a mud bike. Someone actually came inside and found one of the bodies that I hid. So yeah, that's why I had to redo it again, again anyway. But it's just a really unfortunate timing. I'll show you at the end. So we'll just circle around the house there. We're just avoiding that guy's line of sight. I'm gonna stay crouched through the shrubbery here, or the weeds, or you want to whatever you want to call it. And we're going to head over to this guard. See that guard patrolling up and down here? We're just going to have to avoid his line of sight as well. <laughs> so, we're just going to wait for him to turn around first. From this point, you can go ahead and save if you want to. I um, mean, it's entirely up to you. But, um... The only reason I'm recommending that is because... You, if you Even if, if you mess any of this up then it's going to be really unfortunate to do all that stuff again. So, it, the game's auto-saving there for you anyway, so I don't think it matters all that much. We're actually going to wait for this guard to turn around, but this guard's patrolling up and down again as well, so this is real bad. I'm at a bad timing spot here, so... Unfortunately, we do have to wait uh, for this guard to go and turn around again, and this other guard to turn back around. So we don't want to pass on the right side of the SUV because the light will reflect 47 shadow, and I think that gets you spotted. I'm not completely certain on that. Am I, game, am I giving the game too much credit? I don't know. But as soon as uh, that guard turns around, and this guard turns around on the right as well, we can go ahead and get past him through the left. Now, once Diana confirms that all the guards are blocking the, uh, the boat, we're going to pull out our normal pistol, and we're going to go ahead and shoot the gas tank on the back of the car over there. You only need to shoot it once, you don't need to go mad. And once that's happened, all the guards will go storming towards that area. And once you feel that the time is convenient, so you're going to circle around and head towards the boat. Guards can be a little bit RNG when it comes to the other guards at the back of the map. Sometimes they can come over towards the boat, so just keep that in mind uh, once you're heading towards the boat here. It's quite amazing how none of them can actually spot you, but 
It's just how it how it works, unfortunately. So once we exit here, you'll have all the challenges pop before you at the end, and that's how you get the Shinobi Sword. Uh, what's it called? The Tanto Sword. So all the challenges will pop before you here at the end. Only two of them pop up for me because all of them popped up in the previous uh, clip that I've recorded. Uh, which I'm, I'm going to show you in a second. But there's the confirmation of the Shinobi Challenge Pack completed and the Tanto Sword. Uh, samurai Sword to perform Seppuku. Okay. So. Okay, let me show you the clip from the previous one. So in my previous run on, I was trying to attempt this. Look at this. Just as I was about to exit, boom, body found. Just like two seconds. Two seconds. And all of the, I would have got all the challenges there, all in the same run. But of course, a body gets found right at the last second. That's why I advise you to hide all the bodies in crates and closets. And that's the reason why I'm going for the inconvenience of actually going through. Well, it is not inconvenient because you have to do it, really, because your bodies are going to get found. But they're the confirmation of the other challenges that have popped up there. But that's just the way it is, unfortunately. But that's going to do it for this video, so uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, feel free to drop a like if it helps you out. Subscribe if you are brand new to the channel. If you've missed any of these challenge packs that I've covered so far, there will be a link in the description and a link at the end of this video. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you are brand new to the channel. Consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below for exclusive uh, little logos next to your name in the comments and in chat on the live streams and stuff. And yeah, thanks very much for all the support recently. I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. Thank you.